let's talk about expanded application of the marriage fraud bar to future petitions, meaning if there's substantial and probative evidence in the record that you committed or conspired to commit marriage fraud in a previous application, more and more cases at the BIA, the Board of Immigration Appeals, which creates law that the USCIS has to follow, are holding that those uh, marriage fraud attempts or conspiracies to attempt marriage fraud can be held against you in future uh, immigration applications and will in fact bar you from those applications unless you qualify for an immigration waiver. So let's talk about that after the break because this is a changing area of law. So there's a trio of cases that came down from the BIA, which has changed the landscape for how marriage fraud is applied to future immigration cases. You have three cat cases, matter of R.I. Ortega, matter of Pac, and matter of Mensa. For those of you unfamiliar, the Board of Immigration Appeals is the appeal body for the USCIS and other agencies. And the idea is when the Board of Immigration Appeals reviews a case, they sometimes issue decisions which then become binding on the USCIS. Board of Immigration Appeals cases can also be considered by the federal court, which is where you appeal to if you don't like a BIA case. Those cases are not binding on the federal court, but they're taking into consideration. So in this case, Matter of R.I., Ortega, Matter of Pac, and Matter of Mensa basically have created a new set of case law that's again applied to USCIS and immigration court cases for family adjustment. What we can take from these cases as a whole is that USCIS is now even more empowered to look at past instances of fraud or attempts at fraud in order to discretionarily deny current petitions that might have nothing to do with that previous petition. What's important to know about these cases is that even if fraud was not the basis of a denial, but was simply present within the facts of the case, if the USCIS has substantial and probative evidence to show that that fraud did indeed occur, it can still be held against an applicant for a current immigration benefit, uh, and that applicant's benefit can be denied based on 204C, so section INA 204C, uh, which is the marriage fraud bar. Okay, this is really important if you're applying, let's say, for a new marriage case, uh, but you might have had a finding of fraud in, in a previous attempt at applying, or if the USCIS had even indicated that one of the things that they found was potential fraud on XYZ part of your application. So what do you do? Well, one thing you have to do is think about filing a 212 waiver on the 601 form that should e either be sent in with your package, supplemented to your package if the package is already filed, or brought to the immigration interview. In a lot of these cases uh, where there is previous fraud, you might not even get a chance to get to the interview stage without sending that 601. So it's something you want to think about. Specifically, you want to be looking at a section 212I waiver. Again, this is sent in on the 601 form. And this is one of those extreme hardship waivers. I have a window here that Santiago is putting up um, uh, showing a recent video we did on extreme hardship and some of the considerations you have to make, but I talk about that sort of extreme hardship standard there. And the idea is that you want to show extreme hardship to your qualifying relative. In this case, let's say you're filing based on a spouse, you'd have to show the extreme hardship to a spouse that would result if you were not allowed to stay in the United States. It's too big of a topic to go into here. That's It's literally a book long, but that's what you'll have to do. So if you think or you know that in a previous application you had accusations that were leveled against you that maybe you were committing fraud or conspiring to, even if that fraud wasn't in the end the basis uh, of, of the denial, you need to be thinking now with this new trio of cases, matter of R.I. RI Ortega, matter of Pac, matter of Mensa, about filing a waiver to supplement your application. Um, I hope this helps. I just think this is an important thing to get out there. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe. If you have questions about this, put this in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks so much.